This video is made possible by Warby Parker. I should be getting my hair cut in the next couple days, so hopefully you guys will see it. I am maybe gonna get LASIK in Korea, so I was told that I should not wear contacts for the next, until I get the surgery, so that's why I'm going in my glass. Hi! How was your haircut? I like it. It looks good, I like sure. it. I almost asked for a shorter cut, uh -huh. and then she was like, no, and then I think this is the perfect length. Oh, check in some of it. Yeah, it's C. It's C. Oh my god, no one's here. <laughs> I relate. Here's from my flight. About to check in. Hopefully I'm not too late. Just arrived here in Korea. The flight was about 14 hours long. I left at 12.50 at night and it is now, I think, about 5 a.m. here. So I'm um, gonna look for my uh, my luggage and then meet up with my parents. Looks like this here. Like that. Shine! <laughs> <laughs> Shine! Hi! Hi. This tiny little house. A little green house, you know? Hi everyone, so I just got home from <clears throat> spending the day out with my mom. I went to a really cool stationery store called Kobo. It's actually pretty common in Korea. I think it's a chain. There's a big one in Gangnam and there's one kind of close to where my parents live. So we went there. I picked up some stationery goodies. Um, got this super cute pocket notebook. Also this pocket notebook. This is actually a study planner and it's D100 because you're supposed to count down 100 days from your big exam or big event or something and you're supposed to kind of write all your to-do lists and things like that. Um, I thought it was really cool. Also, I picked it up because it's all in English, which a lot of the study planners in Korea were written in Korean. So I brought it to bring it back with me to America. Also got this monthly planner, just like a simple one that I think I can just fill out and have hanging in my kitchen or something. So these are my goodies for the day. There is my mom's cat. Her name is Shine. Shine. She doesn't really like people, so she likes to hide. So one of the reasons why I'm here in Korea is because um, I might be getting LASIK either tomorrow or early next week. And there's no specific reason why I'm getting it done in Korea except for that my dad has had some issues with his eyes. He's specifically, he's had retinal detachment in the past. So my parents are actually pretty worried about getting any kind of procedures done on the eye. So I think they wanted to pick the doctor that would do my procedures. So they wanted me to come to Korea and get it done here. So that's why I'm here. So I'm gonna I go for my consultation tomorrow and then maybe the procedure tomorrow or Monday or sometime early next week and I'll let you guys know all about how it goes and about my experience. Good morning everyone. It is Sunday morning here in Korea. I'm in the second bedroom of my parents' place right now. Pretty jet lagged so I woke up at like 3 o'clock or something. I went for my LASIK consultation yesterday. It was about a two hour process and they did a lot of tests. They checked my vision. They looked at the thickness of my cornea. They looked at the shape of my eyes. They dilated my eyes and looked at the inside and um, basically all these other technical stuff that I didn't really know what it's called. They said that I am eligible for LASIK so I'm scheduled to do my surgery tomorrow Monday in the afternoon and I'm super excited because I've been wearing glasses since I was in first grade so my vision is actually pretty bad a lot of you guys have noted that my glasses are really thick so I basically don't know what it's like to wake up and be able to see everything so I'm really really excited as for the surgery itself it's supposed to be only about 15 minutes long for both eyes very very quick procedure and then I think the recovery is also supposed to be very quick also so most people take off about one or two days after the surgery 
surgery to recover at home. They said that I shouldn't um, work out or do any kind of rigorous activity for about a month. And then after that, you're supposed to avoid getting hit in the eye, which, you know, you should always do. They're going to be cutting a little flap on the cornea, so you're supposed to not, um, not get hit in the face um, so that it doesn't move around or it doesn't get detached. So I think that's the gist of it. And I can't wait to share with you guys how everything turns out. So I will check in with you guys tomorrow or maybe the day after about my surgery. Mama. Papa. On my way to my surgery. It's really cold today. Freshly showered because I can't shower for about two days after. And no makeup. Just finished surgery. Um, everything went well. I'll explain everything a little later, but basically everything's good. <laughs> Alright, see you guys later. Recovering from surgery. This is quite a fashion statement here. 진료를 받고 매년마다 정기적인 검진을 통해 수술을 경과로 관찰하래. 이후 진료실 검사비가 발생됩니다. 소정의 비용이 발생합니다. 10만 원이래. Hi everyone, so I'm here in beautiful San Francisco and I just want to recap everything since my last check-in. Um, I think my last check-in was actually the day of my surgery, so that was last Monday about a week ago. When I got on the table to get my surgery, um, I was originally planned to get LASIK, which is like very commonly done in the United States and a lot of people know about it, but I ended up getting a slightly different procedure called LASIK, L-A-S-E-K. There's a slight difference in the amount of cornea that it deals with before the laser does the visual correction. Another difference being that LASIK, the one that I got, actually has a lot longer healing time and recovery time and tends to be a little more painful. So basically after my surgery, I was pretty much bed bound for a few days because my eyes were hurting a lot. I just laid down in a dark room for most of the day and I couldn't really do anything which is why I didn't really check in with you guys. Now everything is a lot better. I can see really well and it's really great to have good vision again without glasses. One of the perks of having LASIK or LASIK is I get to wear sunglasses without like prescription lenses or I used to get regular sunglasses but I used to also get prescription sunglasses. I used to have to change between the two depending on whether I had my contacts in or not. Another benefit is I can finally do my makeup and my hair without having to take off my glasses which is great. So I'm going to close my LASIK experience video here, but before I close the video, I want to thank Warby Parker for sponsoring this video and I want to talk to you guys about the at-home try-on program. I've actually talked about this before with regular glasses, but they also have a whole line of sunglasses that you can order and try on at home. The glasses and the sunglasses start at $95 and that includes the anti-glare and the anti-scratch coating as well. Um, and every time you buy a pair, they distribute a pair to somebody in me, so that's also a Perk. And Morby Parker also has an app through the App Store and if you have iPhone 10, it'll use the True Depth camera technology to sort of map out your face and it'll recommend frames that are best suited for your frame so that's a lot of fun. Um, so without further ado, let's take a look at some of the frames that I ordered here. So that's all the five styles that I tried on, so let me know which one you guys like the best. Thank you Warby Parker for sponsoring this video, and if you're interested in trying on five pairs of glasses or sunglasses, go to warbyparker.com slash subscribe to fit, and you can order them for five days to try on it. Everything will ship free, and it'll include a free return shipping label as well. So I'm gonna close the video here, and I just wanna remind you guys that all the merchandise that you guys pre-ordered is it, so you guys can check them out at distracttofit.com. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!